Did you know that Muslims ask God for guidance at least 40 times every day? That's right, 40 times every single day. Guidance for doing the right thing at the right time in the right manner. As humans, we are always in need of guidance because very often we make choices with ethical consequences. Yet the need for guidance is more important than ever in a time of crisis. This worldwide pandemic has every one of us thinking, what should we do? For believers, the first thing that comes to mind is prayer. You might say. By pouring our heart to God through prayer, we receive peace and reassurance that no matter how great a calamity, God is greater. Everything is under His control. Yet there is something we must do alongside prayer. It's to take precaution, keeping in mind that our actions have an impact on the course of events. We shouldn't forget this. This is how Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, himself behaved during his lifetime. Dr. Craig Considine wrote an article for Newsweek where he pointed out that Prophet Muhammad gave specific guidelines on what to do in times of a pandemic. Issues of individual and collective health is extremely important and Islamic prophetic tradition is rich with sound advice that promotes overall holistic well-being. Prophet Muhammad's teachings on this topic are in par with today's hygiene regulations. And it is remarkable to think that the Prophet insisted on cleanliness 14 centuries ago in a region where water wasn't even easily accessible. Let's look into a few prophetic advice on the topic of pandemic, which is also quoted in Dr. Considine's article. Number one, advice on quarantine or social distancing, where it says, if you hear of an outbreak of plague in a land, do not enter it. But if the plague outbreaks in a place while you are in it, do not leave that place. Quite similar to what they're saying right now, aren't they? And those with contagious diseases should be kept away from those who are healthy is another one. In other words, the prophet was describing quarantine. Number two, those who do get infected must seek treatment. Make use of medical treatment, Prophet Muhammad said, for God has not made a disease without appointing a remedy for it, with the exception of one disease, old age. Number three, hygiene as preventative medicine. Prophet Muhammad also strongly encouraged his followers to adhere to hygienic practices that would keep them safe from infection. So consider the following hadiths or sayings of Prophet Muhammad. Cleanliness is half of faith. Here we can see how much of a focus there is on cleanliness in relation to Islam. Another one is wash your hands after you wake up. You do not know where your hands have moved while you were asleep. Another one is, the blessings of food lie in washing hands before and after eating. In all of the Prophet's teachings, one sees a balance between action and supplication. That is the true guidance believers must follow. Let me share with you an interesting story that illustrates this point. One day, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, noticed a Bedouin man leaving his camel without tying it. He asked the Bedouin, why don't you tie down your camel? The Bedouin answered, I put my trust in God. The Prophet then said, tie your camel first and then put your trust in God. Prayer does not lift nor cancel our responsibility for taking necessary actions. On the contrary, prayer and actions go hand in hand to one another. So let's continue praying for a healthy recovery from this pandemic, but also making sure to keep working towards it. We are all in this together and our Lord is the Lord of all.